It's sad because it was set up. It's sad. And hopefully, I am hoping Fultz straightens at his jump shot, straightens at his head, and becomes a legit contributor slash starter slash star. And I don't think his career is over by any stretch of the imagination. Not saying that. I'm just saying that they doubled down on Fultz because they were so sure of it. And now one year later, they're so unsure of it, they're trying to trade him. That's a huge problem. If you are doubling down because you're so sure, then one year later, you should not be rocked off your spot. You should not be pushed off that point. That shows a lack of conviction that also shows a tremendous lack of faith in your decision-making. They're saying, we know this is our guy. We know it. We know it. We're trading up for him. Be Dan. We'll trade away a number one of the Celtics. We got to get this guy. One year later, they're saying, how can we shop him? Colangelo, see you later, man. See you later. I mean, it's almost like he couldn't screw up what Hinky actually structured. And I realize there's pr- plenty of people that will be anti what Hinky did in the process because, like I said, you're actively trying to lose while selling tickets to fans without telling them we're trying to lose because you can't openly say that. I understand it. But you have to do that sometimes if you want to win big. And they did it, and it was set up, and Colangelo screwed it up. I hope Fultz gets it right because the Steve Blass, Chuck Knobloch, Rick Ankiel, I don't know what happened to my jump shot. I don't know what happened to my pitch. Those are sad stories that I don't wish upon any athlete. I hope he gets it fixed. But, man, that's ugly. One year after you draft him number one, you're going, yeah, can we trade this guy away? Anybody want to take him? Anybody? He's open. We're listening. 